the criticism they bet on my money, but I unfortunately actually agree. Um, I think, and I'm very pro implementing implementing the Israeli over all of Judea and Samaria. That's what I think is good for Israel, but I don't think it's going to happen. Not in this government, and not if it was a, another government. Because if Israel wanted to, they could have done it a long time ago. We we are a sovereign state. We don't need the approval of uh, America. Not to say that we should not um, recognize the importance of of our strongest ally, but it's it's an Israeli issue. And I think the vast majority, and I say this with tremendous pain, the vast majority of Israelis are not willing to implement Israel over all of Judea and Samaria or even uh, Territory C. So do you think this empowers Naftali Bennett and the Amina List, their decision to stay out of the government, uh, to be able to offer right-wing criticism uh, on, on the annexation issue? Uh, do you think that Naftali Bennett uh, politically made a smart move here? I'm not sure if it was uh, his, his sole move, um, and, and I have to be honest, you know, I ran with uh, Naftali Bennett a year ago, and I appreciate what he's doing, but I also think if there is a chance that they will might implement parts of Judea and Samaria, I think that the Amina party will support it from the opposition. So in that sense, I don't think they're going to oppose Netanyahu just because they're against uh, uh, that current, this uh, specific government. Uh, there's the some speculation that even if it's not, even if some, you know, settlement blocks won't be annexed, even something like Malay Adumim, uh, could, would, would Netanyahu try to push to get something small done as, a, as an overture to religious Zionists? Look, I, I know I cannot, again, I can tell you what has happened. It's very hard for me to say what will happen. But again, if I'm not going to, I'm going to bet on your money now. Um, I, I agree. I don't think that they're going to do it. Uh, unfortunately, look, uh, Khan el Ahmar was supposed to be evacuated a very long time ago. It got the stamp of the Israeli Supreme Court. So no one from the right wing or left wing can really argue that, that there's a problem here and Netanyahu has not done that uh, until now. Not that